Hey, I'm Mike from the Technical Support Department. Today we'll talk about guaranteed water savings methods through the use of pressure regulation devices for the existing landscape. We'll cover three possible solutions, regulation at the system-wide level, pressure regulation at the valve level, and pressure regulation at the head location based on your unique application. Do you know what your pressure is at the nozzle? 40, 55, 65, 75 PSI? Many systems are installed with no regard to the exact operating pressure. If the system has, quote, good pressure, there is usually no more attention paid to the installation. In reality, the difference in gallons per minute used over time with as little as 10 PSI differential is dramatic. A typical 15-foot fixed spray nozzle at 30 PSI uses 1.86 gallons per minute. At 40 PSI, that same nozzle puts out 2.26 gallons per minute. That is almost a half a gallon per minute difference per sprinkler just for a 10 PSI differential. Now let's do some quick math. We have a savings of a half a gallon per minute per head. How many pop-ups on the average size zone or station? We'll say 10 for easy math. That's five gallons per minute. Average run time for spray heads? About 10 minutes. That means 50 gallons per zone. Average residential station count? Six. That's 300 gallons per cycle. Watering 120 of 365 days of the year, that's 36,000 gallons of water saved per year just by reducing from 40 PSI to 30 PSI. So the first step in deciding which pressure regulation method to use would be to critique the existing system. What type of sprinklers are currently installed? How long have they been there? Is the head placement correct or the distance between heads? These are all decisions that you want to take into account. If the zones are larger, for example above 8 or 10 sprinklers, we may need to install pressure regulated pop-up sprinklers to control the pressure at the head. If the zones are smaller, we could control the pressure at the valve with an AccuSync style pressure regulator. That would leave you with the flexibility of having higher pressure available for other zones as needed. The third option is to install a system-wide regulator. That would govern all the zones on the system to the same pressure. So we've taken a look at the valve that controls this area currently running and verified there is no pressure regulation device installed at the valve level. And a quick visual look at these existing pop-ups also tells us there's no regulation built into these pop-up sprinklers either. At this point, we can turn this station or zone off and we can install the MP gauge on one of the existing pop-up bodies to verify what high pressure we have at the head currently. I have inserted the plastic T between the nozzle and the pop-up body and turned on this example zone. As you can see, we have too much pressure right here at the nozzle. 30 PSI is recommended for the most efficient application of water with spray type sprinklers. The PRS30 is used for 30 PSI with spray sprinklers and the PRS40 would be used with MP rotators to achieve 40 PSI for most efficient operation. These do require about 10 PSI differential to make them work, so if we wanted to use the 30 PSI model, we would need at least 40 PSI incoming pressure on our initial reading with the MP gauge. So due to the size of the existing station that we're working on and the age of the equipment, we've chosen to achieve the regulation right at the head location. Now we can do that for regular spray nozzles using the Brown Top PRS30 Pro Spray Body. And if we're putting in MP rotators, they'll want the Gray Top PRS40 with the 40 PSI built-in regulator. So here I have a particularly small zone operating. I've checked the pressure at the head using the MP gauge. It was way too high. So what I've chosen to do is I'm going to regulate the pressure one time at the valve level using an AccuSync style pressure regulator. The AccuSyncs come in a 20, 30, 40, 50, and 70 PSI preset models as well as the adjustable version I'm showing here on the valve. But do remember the AccuSyncs require a 15 PSI differential. So what that means is I'm going to have to have at least 15 more PSI coming in than my desired outgoing pressure to make it operate correctly. You can see the difference in the flow of the water at 30 PSI. You will be using much less water during the same 10 minute runtime, avoiding runoff and water waste. Remember, these are permanent guaranteed water savings. Here is an example of two different pressures being operated with the same rotor. The proper pressure on the left results in larger water droplet sizes and more uniform application of the water over the given area. 
The rotor on the right shows high pressure misting of the water making it susceptible to wind and affecting the distribution uniformity. So this is the third possible option for pressure regulation, it's a system-wide regulator. We're here at the point of connection and you have the option of installing a system-wide regulator here to regulate the incoming pressure for the entire property. That would be fine if all your zones were about the same size and maybe in the same general area. Or if you say you have 120, 130 PSI coming in, you could regulate that down to about 70 PSI and send that throughout the property. Then make individual choices for each zone as to what pressures they need to be. So as we've shown you, water savings through pressure regulation is a simple way to conserve water, one of our most precious resources. Hunter offers a complete line of pressure regulation options, starting at the head location, the PRS 30 and the PRS 40 pressure regulated spray bodies. You can also achieve control at the rotor head level by using the PRB pressure regulated bodies. They have a regulator built in the base of the body. That's for the PGP Ultra and the I-20 series. You can also control your pressure at the valve level. This is for micro spray. It's got the valve, the filter, and the regulator all built in drip zone control kits. Or you can regulate pressure simply at the valve with an AccuSync adjustable or preset version. This is for valve level control. And you can step this up one more level to the system level and use this as a master valve and regulate the entire pressure on the system using an AccuSync at the system level. Based on your needs, you may incorporate some or all of these suggestions in your design to maximize water savings and efficient application of the water. For more information, refer to our website, hunterindustries.com.